Welcome back to the channel and a new video on the Volkswagen Crafter. You can see we're just going to dust gear and Chris said, Rob, you better start a video on that because oh, you'll be watching this one and we would have already done the M4 BMW video where I'm actually going for an inspection in that car tomorrow and Chris wants to crack on with the, um, the Volkswagen Crafter. I keep getting it mixed up. Thank you everyone that reached out in the comments saying that they're not the same as the new Sprinter, which you're absolutely correct. These are a man TGE, same van. So all of the parts are exactly the same, apart from that front grille and obviously the driver's steering wheel airbag. Lots and lots to do to this van. It was a bit as not described, but Chris does want to crack on, start stripping all this out and seeing how bad the damage is underneath there, how far back he's got to go and what bits I need to actually get to repair it. So that's uh, hopefully, oh, I'm still optimistic. You reckon this is going to go straight in the workshop? That is tall, Chris, honestly. You don't think it's working outside? No, none of us do, mate. You've, well, you've got to wipe the windows and it's, what's it, R pass three? Hopefully at the start. That go. You've put the jump pack on, have you? A little bit slow, isn't it? Yeah, jump pack's, uh, seen that jump pack's been a jump pack too long. That's one of my old man signs, isn't it? What's that? Been a jump pack too, been, been a too long. Been a jump pack too long, yeah. been a tall too long, been anything yeah. too long. Yeah. But don't worry, Chris. Everyone's going to be using it next week. <laughs> straight on to getting the front bumper removed here. So loads of little clips, bolts, get the front bumper removed, then straight on to the driver's side door. So you've got one check strap, two little grub screws for the pins, and one electrical plug. Get that removed. It exposes all of the bolts for the actual wing. Get the wing removed, and then Chris moves straight inside, getting the step and the carpet and everything moved out of the way, ready to start working. That was quite nice. Probably about an hour to strip bumper, wing, headlight, door, seat, etc. And the van really doesn't look quite so sore now. As you can see, the uh, panel behind the wing is all undamaged there. And the start of the damage is just on this lower arch section and follows it round. Fortunately, it hasn't gone into that quarter panel so the damage is contained to this, some people call it a rocker panel, seal panel, uh, arch repair panel even, but um, quite, quite nice really. I've stripped out some of the inside there, um, mainly as a, f a fire prevention really, for later on, and also you can um, to make sure there's no, no other damage, which appear, all appears pretty good there. It's all, again, contained to this out pa outer panel and this inner which I, I imagine is a lot stronger anyway is undamaged so yeah quite good news that I should probably take a photo of that now and send that to Rob because he's out all day um, running a couple of errands and um, taking a car somewhere so yeah all good so far <laughs> So working straight on the arch, whippy wheel out, cleaning up all of that seam sealer, getting that removed, exposing the spot welds, and of course, marking it up, ready to cut with the slitting disc. Don't forget, you can't take too much off because you might need it, depending on the replacement panel, but quite a lot of work there, but he actually got it all removed. Right, I'm not sure if this is going to work, but we'll have a go anyway. I thought rather than time lapse in everything I'll try and do a little bit live and what I want to try and do is see if I can save this bit of panel here because it's going to make putting this new piece in a lot easier if I can straighten that and join it through here somewhere but I've got to take that all out it starts disturbing it all up here and I've got I know there's a little damp bit of damage there. that's just where the doors are here I think so it's going to be a lot easier to join there than up through here. So I'm just going to have a, a quick go. I'm not going to spend like ages on it. And I thought, well, I'll go live for it. If, it. if it works, it works, sort of thing. I have tried to get everything ready so it's not 
too painful to watch. And I haven't got a mic because Rob is out and he has the mic, so I am. Um, I've got the cameras close as I can, <coughs> as you can see. <coughs> There's very little resistance to that. I didn't think there was going to be. The reason for putting this on there, really, is not that it looks like I'm going to have to use it, but you never know. I have this that I use. <coughs> if I can't do it with a bar, I can use the port power in there. Like that. And it's nice to push off something firm rather than pushing off part of the vehicle that you're then going to cause more damage. So it takes a little bit of ingenuity sometimes to sort something out to, to push off of, but I don't think we're going to have any problems with saving that panel. this on the uh, the good side and that runs through there dead in line so we've got a little bit more to get out of there I hope everyone can hear this what I might do is just stop that there and play it back and see if the uh, sounds any good So straight in here with a portal power, I know showed it a bit of it live, getting that all straightened out and 100% level, just to save as much of the original panel as you possibly can. So just cutting the, trimming the edge off there, ready, while I'm out getting a new panel. And then hopefully I'll get back and he can try that one on there, but looks like he saved the majority of that seal section, the outer seal section on the vehicle there. Again, cleaning it all up with a whippy wheel, getting that glue removed and any little lumps and bumps on there. And there we have the inner panel all repaired, ready to take a new outer section. You'll assume from those previous couple of bits of video, there was a little tiny bit there I had to weld and I've got that all. It will, I will put some primer on it before the outer panel goes on. But um, yeah, that's probably about as far as I can go for now. I mean, time is getting on, but I did wanna, I've been indoors and had my dinner and come back out. It is now, yeah, 10 to nine. So um, I'm, I'm pretty much done there. And I can't really go a lot further until I have that panel. Now, um, we have priced this up and unfortunately the main dealer does not supply a panel that repairs that you have to buy this entire aperture it goes up there along one panel and then you you remove what what you want you cut cut off what you want and that's nearly six nearly 600 pounds for that panel so we won't be going that route we will be putting a second hand piece of panel in there and it will be from the same similar age van anyway because these are only from uh, 2018 on so there's no real worry of getting one in it having corrosion in it or anything like that so that's going to be the most cost effective route so I can't go any further till we get that so until then uh, that's probably it for now and um, yeah hopefully we'll be back on it soon so very very productive day there for Chris while I was out and why I was out, I did manage to pick up a replacement panel. I think Chris said earlier in the video, we got a price for the entire aperture and it was £600 from TPS or Volkswagen. And I managed to pick this up, already cut from the vehicle. I'm, I told them where I wanted it cut. Sent, I actually sent them a picture that Chris sent me of what we needed. And when I arrived, this was cut out of the vehicle, ready to go for £150. Come from a 2019 don't know if you know it's Chris, got the wing extension yes. with it as well, yeah, yeah. which is handy, Points so it well. is. So still a lot of work to do on this. It has been cut from the vehicle, obviously, and that's the inner and outer skin. So Chris is going to need to work his magic now, 
drilling out and removing all of those welds, which yeah. is a lot of work. So we'll leave you to crack on with that, mate, and yeah, mate. hopefully we can get that fitted in there. Yeah. Also, while I was there, I had a mint door. It was a no-brainer. I picked up the door while I was there as well. So hopefully we get this on. We'll be able to hang the door on. Yeah. Let's do it. So here's a replacement part, and again, tedious, tedious stuff. It is loads of loads of drilling. And then, of course, you've got all the seam sealer on the bottom. That's all going to want cleaning off to expose those spot welds to drill out. And then you've got to clean it all up inside because it's full of wax. And as soon as you start working on it, at a bit of heat, that wax does start running everywhere and causes all sorts of problems. So just before I do show you, well, you've just seen what Chris has been doing, and just that little panel that I bought him, that replacement panel, look at the excess that he's had to drill off and cut off. And I think he did say it weren't just drilling, you can see there, it was glued as well. Yeah. So double trouble, really. Yeah, yeah. But looks like you're there with so the replacement. That is, yes, that is just the outer skin left, which is what we wanted. And um, as we mentioned earlier... Yeah, it's a lot more cost-effective route than buying that whole panel. For £600. Yeah, which we uh, ended up throwing most of that panel away, so quite wasteful as well. Yeah. So it's all good for the environment, good recycling. Yeah, 100, 150 quid yeah, yeah, and a, and yeah. a good bit been of work a, there. Yeah, I've been a, a half a day's work, yeah. but there you go, that's the name of the game. And you're going to so, show us... Yeah, so um, we do have quite a few questions about how do you get the um, cuts... Accurate, yeah, and it is quite straightforward, really. On the uh, in I'm this standing, instance, sorry, I'm standing here so I can get all yeah, of yeah, it. that's yeah. fine. In this instance, I've got a reference hole there, yeah, so I've actually left that. We can see your finger coming yeah. through the other so side. So I've gone trimmed that, so I've got a bit extra on there, and the same with that last hole there, right? So theoretically, is you put that on there, you line that hole up there. You know you're in the right. I mean, with the shape of this panel, you can't really go wrong, can you? No. But I will be clamping that on there, and then I will be marking that, taking this back off and cutting to that mark. Yeah. I think a few people thought I was, I would get this and I would cut this to that, if that makes yeah. sense. But so that, that's you know. And then the other question we've have. Well, I think the internet has lied to everyone. Yep. I do think the internet. A lot, so many people do it that people actually believe now that that's the correct way to do it. Yeah, and put, that is go on, mate. Go putting ahead. an insert or a sleeve inside. Yeah. So, going back to probably about twenty-five years ago, when I was working elsewhere and we was doing a lot of work that had to be warranted and had to be carried out to manufacturer method sheets. So they always. Uh, Poo pooed that because they said it's a water trap. Yeah. But what I will add to that is fast forward to now, there are manufacturers that what they actually do is when you buy a new quarter panel, it wouldn't be it wouldn't be applicable in this instance, but you do still have, as you know, joints when you have a quarter panel yeah. in your seal, C post. Um, so what they produce is an insert that you glue in. Right. And you don't actually weld the panel on. You glue that. You weld. You weld your pinch welds, yeah. but you don't weld your butt weld. It is glued. And then the skim of. The skim of fill over it. Yeah. I've not done it, but I know people who are working in the trade, and you know. They're saying they've done that's, it. That's new, new method, new working practices, and. Yeah. Um, yeah, so Could I point just, out what yeah. I, just what I meant by that? Because people will say, what are yeah. you going on about? Yeah, an insert. And that is basically cutting an old piece of metal and sticking it behind here so that once you stick it on top, it like yeah. it holds it in place. But it's, I think I think people prefer, or some people prefer that method because you don't have to be as accurate on your cut. Yeah. And if your welding is not brilliant, right, brilliant yeah. you've got something to back your weld up with. Yeah where obviously I rely on getting the cut very accurate and then welding that cut. And as long as your, 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 your joint butts accurately, you know, it's easy to weld really. But obviously if you're a bit wayward with your cuts, 
they back it up and that's why they do it but again I say manufacturers don't like that because they believe that's a water trap and then that can cause corrosion from the inside out yeah. so that's why we was never when never I picked this van up when I picked this van up I was like annoyed I was like I can't believe they've done it to it. do you know what yeah. Honestly, it's all coming together all right, Chris. Oh, You've yeah. turned it around, and that's going to be a lovely job, mate. Yeah, I'm going, to, uh, I'm going to clean that off there. Yeah. Um, use a little dent puller on that, just repair that. A few people have probably say paintless repair, but what would be the point? All oh, this has got to be painted. Yeah, that's right. So yeah. I will be doing that little repair there. But, yeah, I'll get on with the right, mate, next yeah. stage, shall I? Yeah, definitely. Let's do it. I mean, for anyone interested... The other thing that um, a friend of mine, Mark, he, he repairs a lot of these vans. Uh, they're actually Amazon vans, and the company he works for are, are, are one of the companies that got contracts. And the preferred method now is to repair the quarter panel rather than years ago, insurance work like that. It was always replace the panel. Yeah. Um, but because that involves removing the roof, yeah, or separating the roof to remove it, their preferred method is now much along the lines of what we do, dent, pull and fill. Yeah. So it seems it's gone full circle. It? it does. Right, so. mate, we'll let you get that trimmed up and in place and, yeah, I guess we'll... Uh... Yeah, I'll get that trimmed and uh, ready and then we'll probably do another cut in. This has all got, got to be... Uh, all this wax hole's got to be removed with thinners, etc. Yeah. All this has got to have a little bit more prep, and then it's got to be primed. And of course, we will refill it with wax. Yeah. After. And the inside of this panel's got to be primed. Yeah. Um, you can see I've I've removed I've wiped all the wax hole off with yeah. thinners. Um, you want to get rid of that because when you start welding, it just catches fire, smoke, and, and it drips and out. Drips out. out. Especially yeah. welding under there, it all runs all over over everything. So. Yeah. All, All right. right, mate, we'll let you get on. This is the exciting bit, lining it up here, trying a few aperture clamps on there, just marking it, getting it about right where he's going to cut it, get the cuts made, and then get that situated onto its original spot and then all of a sudden it just comes together doesn't it and the damage completely disappears. So you can see a little bit of trimming off there on the bottom and the top and I think we're ready to try that on there, get the aperture clamps on it and maybe even try on that driver's side door I just drove the Tago home because it's got service tomorrow. And uh, I've just walked back to the yard actually, 3k. Yeah. And in that time... I have time-lapsed it. But oh, really, right. all it is is what I kind of just explained before. And now you've said that, that will be in before this bit. So... Yeah. 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 But, so, there we are. We've you've trimmed done, it. You've done that in the 35 minutes yeah. I've been out. Now, aperture clamps on there, which means that we can hang the door and catch the door... When we say catch the door, that's latch it on the on on the catch, and yeah. then um, check our alignment. Okay. Um, Chris, obviously, sorry. you couldn't do that with mole grips on there. No. You can't shut the door. So. Just quickly, uh, I'll get it in every single video we use them. Chris, where'd you get them aperture clamps? Right, these are worth from UK. Worth UK. Yeah. And you can see by the condition of them, huh. they have been aperture clamps a long, long time, yeah, and they've been welded up and repaired. repaired. Yeah, and, and I don't mm, think they do them anymore. I, they do. They do a different style. These right. are an old set, and I've got you lots can see of there's broken halves. ones in there. Yeah. When I, if I do a big panel, I need lots. So I have to, I have to weld them back together. But they're not as good. No. But that's where I've hammered because uh, they come in. They're colour coded, which is different thicknesses. Yeah. And what I've done uh, over the years is I've hammered them on when they've been, it's been too thick, like yeah. th three skins maybe, or, or thicker material, and you know, I've only used like a thin one, right. and it snaps them. So that's why they're like that. But that's good enough, because that's, that is, yeah, that's all coming off again. We're just going to now check alignment with the door on. Cause oh, we, we can put the door on? We put the door on, we check that. If we're all good, we take it back off. I mean... Put it on. If I might, I might need to do a little bit more trimming. I might not, but we put the door on. If it all latches up okay, all lines up, door back off, panel back off. I'll prep all the inside of that panel. Like I said earlier, I remove the rest of that glue, I prime it, and then we get new glue, 
and I'll do the final fit and then weld it. Lovely. So, right. And the aperture clamps are going to allow us to try the door on. Yeah. Because if you have mould grips there, they just keep hitting it. Right, let's get the door in here, mate. That door is heavy. I know. And I lifted don't, it off. I still can't work out how I got it in the back of the Berlingo, yes. but I did. I'm not sure you'll get a side loading door in there, mate. No, definitely not. So it looks a little bit clearer, but I walked out to actually get the door and then remembered how heavy it was. It took actually a couple of minutes to carry that door in. It is quite awkward, so it's both of us on it there. And then we try and get it lined up on those pins. And unfortunately, we didn't realise at the time, one of those pins is bent and it is not lining up. So it's a bit on, off, open, shut, up, down, left, right. And Chris pulls it off, straightens it out a little bit. And then uh, eventually we do get the door shut. But that is going to need to be replaced. But I think for the purposes of the video, we're there with it. That's a shame. Bit of uh, backwards and forwards, up and down now. Let's get it in the light, mate, because it's quite dark over here. I don't know if that shows up on there. Yeah, it does perfectly. Yeah, and both of them are like that. Oh, it's a shame, it's a shame isn't it? It didn't come on the, on the door. On the door. No, so and literally, that's how they've taken it off the vehicle. Yeah. They've unscrewed that one there and that one there, and then they're obviously Well, still... normally, you just take the grub screw out and lift the, lift the doors off, yeah. don't you? So... They're going to be sitting on the van there, aren't they? So <clears throat> You're going to have to have a trip back, I'm afraid. Yeah, we need some other bits anyway, don't we? Well, I we? think you're going to have a deal with him on that other door anyway. Side loader. You ain't getting that in your van. No, you got a point there, actually. I think you'll be going back with a truck. That'd fit my blingo on its side, wouldn't it? Well, it's bigger than that door. Oh, yeah, of course it is, yeah. Um, That's a whopper, isn't it? Yeah, that is. Yeah, that ain't fitting in my van, no. is it? No, I mean, that's all the way up to there, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. So, yeah. oh, well. Oh, well. The fault was there. I'll have to go in the recovery truck, won't I, and yeah. strap it down. But we're, we're nearly there, aren't we? Yeah. Well, I think that's as far as we can get then, mate. I think you've. it all looks as good as it's going to until you get that hinge on it. Yeah, obviously, with that hinge in the right position, that's going to pull that out. Yeah. Um, but, I mean... It is what it is, mate, isn't it? Shame, but very, very nice. Yeah. The arch is back in, and we would like to get a wing in anyway. Yeah, then I mean, we can gap it all up. Yeah, I don't, I, I don't think any of this has moved. Right? No, so none of that's affected. So, but yeah, you're right. I'll if get the other bits arranged, and then we can pick up on this, and then we we can just yeah. continue on yeah. with it because we want to get it done anyway, don't we? We do. And I know that wheel and tire I bought in Essex. Got it's a big got chunk missing out the tyre. Yeah. So I'd like to take that back as well. Right. Oh, mate, well, it's getting late again. Yeah. It's starting to get dark, isn't it? I, I think, think that's a wrap. We'll call it. That's the end of today's video. As yeah. usual, we do hope you did enjoy it. If you do, hit that thumbs up. We did just want to mention about the BMW M4 competition. Yeah. Regardless, we did say it, and we don't make things up. We mean it. No. Regardless of what it says on that website. Regarding the 85 Regarding the 85% ticket sales. We don't care about that. No. It is being sold on Sunday. No, it's being won. It's being won on Sunday. And if the tickets... Haven't actually, reached that 85. Yeah. It's irrelevant. Still, it's irrelevant. It's still, it's still going. Yep. If the tickets sell before that date, then it will be... The winner will be announced before Sunday. It will just be bought forward. So thank you, everyone, that bought a ticket. We really do appreciate that. Yeah, yeah. It was just a one-off for us. It's not something we've done before. No. And it is everybody wanted. A lot of people asked That's for right. it. That's right. That's so, right. So, uh, yeah. Give them what they want, eh? A lot, a lot of people are not happy, happy about saying that we're promoting gambling, but... We've been gambling for four years on this channel, buying cars every week to every, produce content. Every day's a gamble. Every yeah. day's a gamble. <clears> so <throat> don't forget, like, subscribe and share, and we'll see you all very, very soon in the next one.